Hi! Ayan, good morning. Good morning everyone! Good day, good afternoon, or whatever time na nakita nyo po yung YouTube video na ito. Welcome to my channel, Agustin Dollar Vlogs. And we are talking about everything related to the basic competency on local treasury, lalo na this April 24 ay magkakaroon na po ng first batch para sa mga takers ng last year na nag-file. Tapos ngayon naman po, October 2022 ay para sa mga bagong, bagong registrants. So, welcome! And... As I always said, this is related to BCLT and you will experience a lot of questions, sharings, tips, and techniques related kung paano nyo ipapasa yung exam. So, I'd like to share with you this BCLT 2021 review 001. Ginawa ko to last two years ago, if not mistaken, in preparation for the June 2021 exam sana. Hindi siya natuloy because of the situation of our country. So, Let's try to answer this one ko at kung naalala ka pa to or kung mag, uh, ano yung magiging score natin because after we sent the ano ay uh, ibibigyan niya naman po yung result. So, let's start with the first question. The statement of receipts and expenditures consists of the following four purposes except part by yung LGU monitoring system, kabilang bang policy development, kabilang din ba sa statistics and uh, uh, statistics? or kasama din po ba si cash programming uh, I believe naniniwala po ako na hindi kasali ang cash programming it is because uh, an answer po yata nito is forecasting and planning again among the four yung nawala dito ay ang forecasting and planning so try lang natin pag answer yung cash programming okay number four two next The user of a statement of receipts and expenditure that serve as the source of data for application of loans and grants. Ayan. Yeah, I, I remember this one. This is Municipal Development Fund. Uh, I, this is MDFO. Next. It is the official reporting system of the Department of Finance for monitoring LGU financial performance. I think this is SRA. Statement of receipts, expenditures. Submission of inaccurate report is considered blank. Inaccurate report, report shall inaccurate report shall mean a report containing data that materially affect the integrity of the report, which may consequently mislead the users. I believe this is grave. Pag malit talaga yung report niya, sabit mo talaga ng delikado yun. Next, what do you call the ratio of LGU expenditures to debt service to local LGU expenditures? So, dalawa yung magiging pagpipilian natin. Pinaka-sure itong debt service expenditure ratio o debt service ratio. Since na-mention na, na naman po nito uh, sa statement nito yung expenditures, I'll choose the debt service ratio. And this report provides financial information to local chief executive for the purpose of policy formulation and fiscal management. Mm -hmm. Okay. But this is about information eh. Pero hindi naman siya electronic types, hindi naman siya naka-generate sa internet. So, I think still SRA, the Statement of Receipts and Expenditures. This user of Statement of Receipts and Expenditures serve as interim financial aid uh, reports in the aid of legislation. So, ano na pag legislation? It's all about Senate and Congress. Next. The, is, the SRA is divided into three major segments. Number one, the current operating segment. Number two, the non-operating receipts and expenditures. Number three, fund balance. Okay. All of these are part of a major segment of the statement of receipts. So I will answer all of the above. The ESRA cash business report shall be uploaded to the ESRA's web information system by all local treasurers on before what date? I believe this is 20 of the month. For the first three quarters of the month, yan and then pag mag year end naman is submit ito ng March 31 if I'm not mistaken I'm pretty sure of it actually the statement of receipts and expenditures consists of the following users except BLGF, BIR, NIDA, DLG, Senate and Congress well among the five of them meron isa dito na talagang wala sila hindi naman sa hindi walang pakilam ko di they're not the user of this statement of receipts and expenditures diba nangyayari ito sa mga local government units And, yan. Ang sanang ko na lang po ito ng BIR. So, 
Sana po ay pare-pareho tayo ng mga sagot. Kung magsasagot man po kayo ngayon. Uh, let's, well, ano pa rin. Uh, let's have a little review. Kung <laughs> sure ba tayo dito talaga. I-review lang natin yung ating ano. Ayan. Number one, yeah. This is cash programming. Number two, the MDFO. Number three, statement of resistance expenditures. Four, less grave. Uh, not four, sorry. Wala pala itong number. Then, the debt service expenditure ratio. The SRE again, for the purpose of policy formulation, fiscal management, and every local government uh, chief executive. Then, sa aid of legislation talaga, walang nang iba kundi yung ating Senado. And, of course, all of the above. Ayan. End of the quarter. Tapos, BIR. So, let's try to submit this one kung uh, ano yung magiging score natin. Sana ma-perfect po. <laughs> uh, shall I have to view my score? Talan. Yeah. I've got 10 over 10. <laughs> Naalala ko pa pala. Uh, at least matastas pa yung ano natin. No? The dancer for number one is cross programming. Ito talaga yung naiba. Then, it's really the MDFO. Then, statement of receipts and expenditures. Then, less grave offense. Then, that debt service expenditure ratio. Then, the, the SRA or the statement of receipts and expenditures. The Senate and Congress. Yeah, that's correct. Oh, and all of the above, again, babalikan po natin that the statement of receipts and expenditures divided into three major segments. The current operating segment, the non-operating receipts and expenditures, and the fund balance. Again, current operating segment, non-operating uh, receipts and expenditures, fund balance. And the, uh, the submission of the report happens every in the first three quarter, ibig sabihin, January to March, April to May, June, July, happens on the 20th day of the next month, so April 20, July 20, and October 20. Pagdating naman sa year end, I believe this is to submit up to ano, March 31 of next year. Yan. Sana, kung makorek niyo pa ako, just, just comment lang po below. And the statement of receipts and expenditure consists of the following new resources except BIR. Yeah, they're not, this is not included. The Bureau of Local Government Fund, included, uh, the Bureau of Local Government Finance, the National Economic Development Authority, the Department of Interior and Local Government, the Senate and Congress. Yeah, these are part of uh, uh, users of our SRA. So, again, congratulations po kung pariyo tayo ng score, pariyo po tayo ng mga sinagot. And I think until here na lang siguro ko. So with that, thank you so much. God bless you. And please do not forget that uh, malapit na talaga April 13 today. And you only have 11 days. Probably mga ano na lang talaga yan. 10 days of your uh, major ano uh, review. As of this time, ang magagawa nyo na lang po ay scanning. That, that is the best way. Review, scan, review, scan. Kung ano, book by book kayo, babalik nyo, balikan nyo po yung LTOM. Balikan nyo yung mga respective sections or chapters na kung al sa, sa uh, alam nyo talagang ito ay maaring lalabas. At saka since you had a, kung bumili naman po kayo sa akin ng libro or sa akin ng review materials, ay meron na po kayong uh, guide doon kung ano-ano yung mga lumabas lalo na sa mga nakarang exam and syempre ay as a ano uh, producer, creator of the review material uh, I also consider a basic competency rev online review lalo na uh, uh, sa mga talagang very interested to and then of course yung talagang plano pinaka biggest goal is to pass the exam so they consider the review and I, I offered it naman. So, maraming salamat po. So, sa mga hindi pa, just message me. Ilalagay ko lang po yung aking uh, private account, messenger account ko sa FB. And then, the group page na rin natin para doon din kayo mag-message. So, with that, thank you so much again. God bless you. Have a good health. Lagi, uh, pray lang ng pray, lalo na yung mga mag-exam. So, 
you will you will still encounter pa naman po